Hey you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I am going to be making elderberry syrup, a cold and flu elderberry syrup for the first time. I've never done this, so I am anxious to see how this is going to turn out. So I have a elderberry tree in my backyard and it produces the flowers, but the bad part about it is the birds end up getting the elderberry before I get the elderberry. So this year I'm gonna make sure that I grab my elderberries as soon as they come out before the birds. So what I decided to do, uh, since I didn't have my elderberries, I decided to buy some dried elderberries. And I said, I'm going to make my own elderberry cold and flu syrup. Normally when my daughter gets sick, we're having to go to the store and I buy her um, this, uh, it's, it's a brand called Sambuca's Elderberry. And that's pretty pricey, probably about $14.99, $15.99 is how much I pay for it. And I told myself, you know what, I could probably do this. I know I can. So I started doing some research and I found an elderberry uh, recipe um, that I got from Mary's Nest. Now I'm altering it just a little bit, uh, but I want to give her credit where credit is due. So, but I'm getting ready to try. I have one cup of dried elderberries and I have some Sobolo or dried hibiscus and I have some local honey here, raw local honey and some filtered water. So we're going to try to make this and see how it turns out. We're going to put the elderberries in. The Sobolo or hibiscus. And then this is about four cups of water and we're just going to cover this up. This mixture to a boil. As you can see, it's starting to boil. And so we're going to turn this on low. Cover it and just let this simmer for about one hour. It's been one hour and this is what it looks like. We're gonna take the lid off and keep the lid off for about 15 minutes and we're just gonna let this simmer. While the elderberry is cooling, we are going to need a few items. We're going to need a bowl, a strainer, and a ladle because we are going to strain the elderberry. And then we're going to need our honey, of course, that's going to sweeten the elderberry. And again, this is raw local honey. And we're going to measure out a half a cup of honey.
as you can see I'm just pressing down on the elderberries just to get all of the juice out of it look at this rich full of antioxidant infused hibiscus and elderberry syrup once I put the honey in it. I didn't want to put the honey in here while it was really, really hot because it may diminish some of the properties in the honey. I just want it to cool down just enough to where the honey will dissolve. So just a few more minutes and then we'll put the honey in. And there you have it, elderberry syrup made with dried elderberries, dried hibiscus leaves, and raw local honey. I'm going to take this syrup and pour it into this mason jar, and I will store it in the fridge for up to a year. Now, I will take this once a day, one teaspoon once a day, and if I am having cold and flu-like symptoms, then I will probably do it about three or four times a day. This elderberry syrup is very rich in vitamin C, giving your body the boost that it needs to fight those cold and flu-like symptoms. It was very easy to make, so I hope this gives you the confidence that you need that you can do it too. This is Coach Jessica with Body by Grace Coaching, letting you know that you can change your behavior one step at a time.